What is going on guys? FMU here and welcome back to another episode on the FM15 beta with Newcastle United. So we're straight in here at the transfer screens. Transfer window is just closed and a bit of business has been done uh, in wise and out wires. So last time out you saw his purchase, well you saw that we picked up William Gallas on a free. Um... We followed that up with by signing Chucks and Ike. Now, I'm a big fan of Chucks because I saw him a lot of crew last season. That's not what I signed him. He actually won the Golden Boy uh, Award in this first, you know, midway through this first season. And his stats are immense. And when I signed him, they were like, the uh, press were like, you've really sort of, you know, you snatched him up pretty cheap. And so on and so forth. So I've got high hopes for uh, for Chucks. Uh, and he's a good goal threat. You see, he got uh, 14 goals for Crew last year. And in this season so far, with uh, Zolte, he's got 10 goals, 9 assists. So, you know, he's not doing bad. And he's, he's playing international football. And he's doing pretty well there. So, guys, if you can pick up Chucks and Ike, then pick him up. Because he's going to be big, I think, on this game. Big. Uh, El Sharo Elia we've brought in on loan from Werder Bremen uh, very good player uh, very quick um, got good stamina you know and um, he's I've been impressed with him so far he's he's really added a bit of depth uh, in when we're going forward you see uh, and his pace causes a lot of trouble and he's got good dribbling uh, great first touch as well which is pretty cool and his vision's pretty good so uh, he, he's a decent sign on loan Terence Congolo, the young Dutch guy, 21 years of age. We've picked him up and uh, he's done really well for us. It's coming in, got good tackling, uh, good strength and stamina, decent pace for a defender. Um, his jumping reach is 13, which is decent. His heading is 14, which is very good. And his tackling is 14. So he's, he's a decent player and he's done well um, since coming in. Um, and you'll see, you'll see the form. Um, shortly, but yeah, we picked him up from Feyenoord uh, on a decent, you know, 12 million may seem a lot, but I think with his potential, same with Chucks, their potential to grow is is massive. And Bakari Kone from Lyon has come in the 26 year old for 5 million, um, tackling 16, uh, strength 17, stamina 14, 15 jump reach, 17 heading, you know, marking 15. He's a good player, he's a good all round player. Um, so really pleased to have those guys in. Tried to buy Lucina Traore from Monaco, but he kept failing to get a work permit. So unfortunately, he never made it. Um, Outwise, Santa has gone to Juventus for £7.2 million. Pounds. Uh, look at that. Played two, scored one already for him. Um... He wanted to go, he asked if he could go, so, um, you know, I didn't want to get any unrest, so I kind of reluctantly allowed him to go. Uh, Gofram has gone to Marseille, played four, scored one. <laughs> um, Sissoko has just joined Zenith. Um, so, you know, we've we've made decent money off these players. And uh, Vernon Anita, he's gone to Napoli, he was another one who just wanted out. You know, he wanted to go, so I need to step in his way. And um, uh, Stefan Bracoli has gone out on loan to Gateshead after signing the pro deal uh, just to get himself some um, experience. How's he doing now? Has he played yet? Not yet. I have literally, though, in all fairness, only just sent him, but he should do all right down there, I'd imagine. So we've made 37.5 and, and we've spent 39, so we're not too out of it at the moment we could claw that back in uh, in my opinion so today's game is going to be against liverpool as you've just seen and it's the early kickoff they're ninth we're 11th um schedule wise last time out you saw us beat everton 4-1 we then got thumped 4-1 by tottenham before going on to beat burnley by three goals to one we were then, no disrespect to them, but we were humiliatingly beaten 3-1 at Forest. Um, then 2-0 at Chelsea, 
and which is unfortunate because we played really well against Chelsea, in my opinion. And um, Manchester United beat us three 0 at Old Trafford. We then beat Swansea by three goals to two. Um, a last minute goal from Riviera. Well, not last minute goal from Riviera. Sorry, a late goal from Cabela uh, got us the victory there. Um, this is what I was on about. We conceded a last minute equaliser to Villa. Adam Campbell got his first senior goal for us there as well. And then he scored the winner against Crystal Palace at home um, after nine minutes. And then the Leicester game, we beat them by five goals to one. Um, and it was a very good performance, very pleasing performance. Little side note a player we've agreed to sign in the summer. Uh, from Manchester United is Nick Powell. Now I love this guy. A lot of time for him. I know him personally as well. Uh, great guy, great player. Struggling with injuries lately, but you know I like him. Good player. Um, bit biased maybe, but I do do like him. And he's joining us at the end of the season. Um, not that I can't remember how much for. How much for? Eight point two. But that's like spread over. A bit of time to be fair. So, big issue today. Not the magazine. <laughs> All for Ray's bat, so he can jump in for Riviera. Okay, okay, okay. We do. I'm going to put this guy on the bench because he's got 26 goals for the uh, for the youth side. I'm going to give Rivera a rest. I'm going to ring Congolo in for. Um, Bartley uh, Campbell on the bench yep 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 Anike can come in for Colback now the thing is here Tim Krull has picked up an injury and um, he is out for two to three weeks so it goes down now to Rob Elliott and I've promoted Jack Alnick from the under 21s now Rob Elliott played earlier on in the season, did he? Oh, no, he never. No, he never. I'm thinking... <laughs> I'm thinking of um, FIFA. <laughs> no. So, I'm tempted to go with Rob Elliott, but there's this bit of me that's really tempted to go with Olnick, and he's only slightly less... Um, you know, less in the ranking than Elliot. So, he's very one-footed, good player for most guy, bet one, you know, dist uh, weak attribute, you can't get much distance. Balanced shot stopper, improved considerably on his kicking over the past few months, and uh, he fits in well with the dressing room. Um, so... That's him. Let's have a look at Rob. Have a look at Rob. So, good player for the championships. So, he's slightly better. Uh, he's a bit slow off his line. Handles himself in a professional manager. Accuracy at throws and improves slightly at commanding and communication. So, for me, he's a shot stopper, aren't it? So, you know what? I'm going to continue my... Um, my policy of giving some of the uh, the younger guys... Where's he gone? There he is. Some of the younger guys that have come through the academy um, a run out. Oh, Chiotte's back as well. Boston. Uh, Chiotte in for callback. And Chiotte. Ooh. Chiote is going to sit on the bench. It's <laughs> a bit crazy. But yeah, so, uh, and I've put this young kid on the bench, uh, young Jonathan Quinn, because he, like I say, he got 26 goals so far in the under 21s. So for me, that deserves a push up into the first team. And when we get to the, the game, I'll, I'll show you his. Uh, his stats. We'll have a look, a little look at his stats, shall we? And um, maybe, depending on how the game goes, we might give him a bit of a bit of a run out. 
towards the end of the game. The absence of Colo Toys. Blah, blah, blah. Um, well, we're not good in training. Passionately, I'm not concerning myself. Very good. Also, we've gone for a new formation. And it's been working the last few games. So it'll probably fall flat on its face today. But um, we'll have a little look. Let's get you always closing those two guys down. Uh, tight marking on Coutinho. Always give him a good slap. So um, you do that. Yeah, we've had a good couple of games. So it's going to be one of those where... Um, look, switched off these pair of morons. Um, assertive make a difference you passionately make a difference and Chuck Sanike um, passionately got what it takes so because I'm recording we'll probably fall flat on our face but up until now we've looked very decent uh, with this tactic and it's one I've come up with myself just through tweaking around and messing around with all the tactics in the world that we seem to be going through at the moment here we go you see 1-0 storage I start recording and it goes to pot but um, they are a very good side Liverpool so ooh Cabello picked up an injury you go there Chuck and you come off for Diote I have to do that but as, as course as well um, having not your first choice keeper and whether it, I think whether it had been our Nick or Taylor we'd have had a bit of an issue today goalkeeper wise good ball go nice oh unlucky unlucky from one out in there played brilliantly against Leicester oh they're in goal oh look at that I've gone in Oh, I must have gone behind. This will be a goal, though. There you go, you see. You can spot him a mile off. This is really irritating because we've been playing so well and we've been doing so amazingly well in the league up until now. So aggressive. Absolutely terrible. Looks switched off. You. Aggressively. Uh, no, assertively. Um, I have faith in you. No. Okay. Carry on being a butt munch. That's fine. You won't be on the pitch much longer, that's for sure. One thing is, you know, 2 0 down. I suppose it gives us the opportunity to give the young boy Quinn a run out. That was poor from an EK there. Real poor. Oh, Congolo. What the hell was that? Brilliant last ditch challenge though to uh, get the ball out. Go on, Ronaldo. Come on, that's it. That's nice. Stick at them. Stick at them. No, oh, Balotelli in for three. Oh, well saved. Well saved. He is a good shot stopper, um, apparently, even though he's conceded two. Uh, Bartley, you jump on there. And, oh, damn it. Um, I'm going to bring you off because you're being a mildly little boy. Well done. This will be 3-0 though, Henderson. Oh, brilliant challenge there. Superb challenge. Oh, here we go. Cleared. Thought I was going to be a penalty. Cleared away. But, you know, we are playing away at Liverpool. So, you know, that does work against you a bit. Here we go. Three. Mother. Funker. Okay, let's hit that. Let's just go all out. Team talk. Assertive. Demand more. Bob. Give him a right kick up the jacksy. Uh oh, four. <laughs> Damn. I knew this was going to happen when I started when I recorded. 
We've been in such great form, playing so well, defensively been superb. And we're going to shit four goals. Go on, Ferreira. Oh, you pathetic idiot. Top goal scorer for us this season, but that was absolutely pathetic. And that is very disappointing. This has been such an anti-climax. I was lo really looking forward to this as well. <sighs> I hate YouTube. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I love it really. I wish I had more followers and more views. Um, that'd be awesome. And I wish people would leave likes on the videos as well. That I don't think people realise how important the likes are. And it's very annoying. And it's what ruins a lot of YouTube channels is the lack of likes because they don't get the growth. Um, that they they require or they deserve and then you know what's the point if people are just going to watch the content and not like it you know or give input to it you know it kind of gets to the point where it's like well what's the point if i'm not getting the likes or or whatever not me but you know i'm not that myself i'm just saying this is i've been talking to a few youtubers lately and uh they've been saying along those lines that it's just ridiculously disheartening unfortunate today feck off you idiot far from pleased far from and his attitude is terrible lately absolutely terrible you were expected to lose today send me assistant can't be asked talking to them idiots but look at that, we have one freaking shot. That is pathetic. That is absolutely... Oh, good, and it just gets easier. We've got Arsenal next. Whoop-de-doo, Basil. <laughs> what a pile of plop. But, um... Oh, that's really, really dragged me down. Yeah, he's made his debut, right? Won't be playing again, that's for sure. Ah, oh, man. Uh, leave to physio. So we're another player short now. Another big, big player short. I suppose Rob Elliott should get a run out against Arsenal, I guess. Um, but the tactic, I'll go through it with you. Uh, it's this one here, this 5-4-1. Uh, so we've got... Uh, that one's supposed to be... Did I, ch I thought I changed that to a sweeper, but clearly not. We've got a limited defender. Uh, we've got complete wing backs, which are both attacking. Uh, two, these two here are limited defenders. Um, one of them covers, one of them is a stopper. We then have a defender who is a ball playing defender. So he's the guy who can sort of play the ball out from the back. Uh, the right winger is an attacking winger. Uh, and he's set to attack. Ball winning midfielder in the central uh, role. An advanced playmaker on the other one. And then the left-sided uh, winger is a defensive winger who supports. And then up top we've got an attacking centre forward. Got control and flexible for the uh, mentality and shape. And then retain possession and pass into space. Clear ball to flanks. Run at defence. Look for the overlap get stuck in, use tight marking, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and, uh, did I click that? I thought I clicked that. No? Ah, I clicked that. Much higher tempo, which uh, tires out the opposition, which is pretty cool. Well, it's supposed to anyway, but I don't know. Meh. <laughs> you know, it's one of those. But, um, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Look for the overlap. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's cool. I thought I'd... Uh, have I done so? Have I taken something off here and not realised? Um, look for the overlap. No. Clear to flank. See early crosses. Retain possession. Pass into space. No. We're all right. We're cool. 
Okay, guys, so I'm going to hoppity hop over to Arsenal. Very good. Okay, guys, here we go. We're ready for the Arsenal game. Interestingly, I thought, let's see what the other staff do. So I did crit picks asking the other guys to pick the team. And they all pretty much picked the same squad. And they all picked on Ol in goal. So I'm going to go with that. And I've decided to give Papa Cisse a place on the bench. Um, I think I'm going to allow him the opportunity to work his way back in to the team. And I'm actually going to drop Facundo Ferreira. I know, I know, I'm a crazy kid, but I'm doing it. And um, I'm going to put Campbell in, as you've just seen, because Campbell, um, when he's played, you know, in the past few games, when I've given him his chance, he's taken it well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do something against Arsenal today. I'm not expecting it, though, because we seem to struggle against the bigger teams in the league. Uh, like, we can't beat, obviously, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Man United, uh, Man City, those guys, uh, Tottenham as well, to a degree, we can't um, perform against those guys, which is a bit of a pooper. But, that's life. Okay, let's see if we can't really rouse them up I know we are underdogs but let's do this fellas eh? let's do this so let's see what these guys have in store for us see if we perform a little bit better than we did at Anfield we were appalling at Anfield um, there's Danny Welbeck what a signing he's proved to be for Arsenal I did say um, last year I think when he was getting a lot of stick at United that I thought, oh, what a save there. Or was that the post, I think? Um, that I thought he would be well suited to play for Arsenal. And now he's at Arsenal, so uh, I know everything. <laughs> Mad. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anike, come on, that's it, nice. Use your strength, use your vision. Campbell, look at him go. Wijnaldum, oh, unlucky. Unlucky, nice little move there. Campbell running at them. Here he goes again. One album. Oh, that's another reason that I put him in. Shoot. Whoa, wrong way. <laughs> um, another reason I put Campbell in was his in the game against Leicester. His and um, One Alden's link-up play was second to none. You know, it was um, it was Champions League quality. To be fair, goal. <laughs> it was Champions League quality to be fair but um, he's got three goals already he's only, he's only joining me Danny this, this is where the floodgates open now I don't know foul by Danny Welbert. Um so yeah that the movement and the uh, link up play between each other was, was really good you know it was really a joy to watch it was one of those moments where the match engine was really worth looking at even in its beta stage but, uh, you know, hopefully they can replicate that. Go on, Campbell. Oh, could have took that on a bit further. Could have moved moved a bit closer in for letting the shot go. Well bet, damn. You could see the gap there. You could see the gap at the near post. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Let's... Team talk assertively show some passion. This guy assertively get creative. We're now them assertively get creative. And Campbell assertively encourage. Let's see if that makes much of a difference. Probably not. Stephen Taylor picks up another book in, so he'll be on a suspension soon. Oh, brilliant. And now Jam Matt's picked up an injury. What a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, shite. You come on for him. And then... Taylor, you're going to have to drop to right back, my friend. And you assertively 
You got what it takes. Lack credibility. I get that a lot at the minute, and it's really annoying. Because if I lacked credibility, I wouldn't freaking say it, would I? Let's be honest. Let's lay our cards on the table here, fellas. If I didn't mean it, I wouldn't bloody say it. And uh, that's why the hide save is going to be interesting. And that, oh man, it's ripping. I'm ripping my hair out. Oh, what a finish from Welbert. What a finish. There's just no point in even trying to stop this from happening now. Which is annoying because we started so well. We really did. But because... We are three down. Let's give Quinn his debut. No. No pressure, you know. And chicky chicky boom boom. Tayote. Come, come on. Off from Quinn. Just very calmly. Uh, no pressure on you today. Appreciate the calm words. Assertively, guard there and make a difference. Chuk, 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 T O T. It's been away for the African Cup of Nations, you see, so that's how he's lost his place. But uh, I think it's safe to say that after this game, he's going to be back in the team. Kone just nutted well. Go on, Quinny boy. Oh, go on. Goal! Get in. I'm so pleased for him. So pleased. Jonathan Quinn on his debut. Slots the ball in against Arsenal. Oh no, Tioto has picked up a bump. And also a card. That's that's sort of like lighting the blow a bit. You know, young Jonathan Quinn getting on the score sheet. I'm really pleased for him. Really happy with that. You know, if we're going to lose, then, you know, I'd rather us sort of lose, but, you know, a kid make his debut or a kid get their first goal or, you know, somebody put in a really good performance. Yeah, just to, you know, just for them and, and for the future of the club. Go on, Aaliyah. Go on. Oh, that would have been a superb goal if that had gone in. That would have been one of the best that I've seen on F uh, FM15 so far. Well, that's the end of this game, surely. Yeah, disappointing, to say the least. Very disappointed. But, you know, on the plus side, Quinny Boy has come on. And he's got his goal. So we'll hit that. Quincy motivated. I'm going to calmly... Um, you were unlucky today. It was a good effort. He was unlucky. It was a very good effort. But yeah, that was very pleasing for, to, from Quinn's point of view. So we've got 10 games left. We're 11th in the league with 34 points. 11 points ahead of Leicester, who are the... Uh, main threat to relegating us at the moment I would like to think we can finish either 11th or just in the top 10 I would re that's what I'm aiming for so we'll have to have a little look but I'm going to let it go there guys and uh, I just want to say a massive thank you uh, to you guys who watch and for everybody who likes I do have some amazing subs both on the football manager side and the Minecraft side and the vlog side and stuff. I, I appreciate everybody. So thank you so much for all coming together and helping me out. And uh, I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.